Hello. It is hot. That's right. It's hot. Now, today I'm going to drive around Suda City and the San Fernando Valley, and I'm going to show you some cool things. I'm going to show you the Wonder Years house and a couple of other houses from the Wonder Years. I guess just one other one that's right there. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out when I get there. I'm going to show you the Brady Bunch house. Who doesn't love the Brady Bunch? Uh, fun fact, they, why am I driving? Where am I going to? I gotta concentrate. Um, the Brady Bunch parents are dead, both dead. Sam the Butcher's dead, Al's is dead, all the kids are alive though. And that's great. Which, no, it's good. And I'm gonna show you the place, this is creepy, where Robert Blake had dinner with his wife then took her around the corner and shot her, killed her. Scumbag, he's not in prison, he should be. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably find a few other things. Oh, yeah, Say Anything. Love that movie. I think you must love Say Anything, too. If you don't love Say Anything, you're crazy. John Cusack, I Only Sky, um, directed by Cameron Crowe. I'm going to show you some of the iconic filming locations from that movie. So, let's take a drive, okay? Oh, the car washes are everywhere in LA. Really retro, really cool. There it is, the Brady Bunch house. Something from my youth. And yeah, that's pretty freaking cool to see it in person. There it is. Every day after school, that's what I would watch, followed by Gilligan's Island. Bye, Jan. Bye, Marsha. Bye, Cindy. Bye, um, Greg. Peter, Bobby, Alice, and Mr. and Mrs. Brady. And Sam, as I'm driving away, I just realized that all of the Brady kids are pretty much okay and not weird. Not all messed up like every other sitcom kid from the 80s. Well, they're not from the 80s. But sitcom kid from the 60s all the way through the, well, 2000s. They're normal. The parents are dead. Sam's dead. Alice is dead. They're all dead except the kids. And I'm assuming that Tiger the dog is dead. I'm assuming. So, now I'm gonna show you something morbid and cool, though. Sad, but yeah, well. In a quarter mile, all right. will be on the left. We get it. This woman is bothering me on my phone. I know where I'm going. Anyways, yeah. So here we go, this is gonna be interesting. Right here is Patello's restaurant where Robert Blake has last meal with his wife before he shot her. I'm gonna go get a better look and also show you exactly where it happened. So there's the restaurant right there. There's the parking lot. And yeah, I'm gonna make a left turn here. Get another better look at it. Go a little slower, but that's Vitello's restaurant. That's where it all went down. So right there where that green thing is and where the car is parked, that's where Robert Blake shot his wife. The car is parked right there where that Toyota Highlander is. And if you don't know the story, I Google it, read it, it's crazy. That's where he did it, right there. Right in front of that green box with that fence. And he still lives around here and he still drives by the restaurant where they were eating. He lied about going back to get something he forgot. He forgot, he said he forgot his gun in the restaurant. Came back and she was dead. Oh, how ironic. How convenient. Anyways, scumbag right there did it. Here's the dojo from uh, Karate Kid. Just realized it. It's right here. Wait up, where is it? Oh, yeah, right here. I swear I can pick out anything. That's the dojo. From Karate Kid and say anything. All right. Okay, this is a pretty cool place. This is the 7-Eleven from Say Anything, one of the best movies ever made. It was uh, filmed right at the 7-Eleven. This is where he wiped away the glass so what's her name could walk without getting her feet all cut. It's right there, that's uh, happened right on that sidewalk, right there, that whole scene filmed right here. I love it. And something cool is right across the street.
And in the same movie, this is where Lloyd held the boombox. Yes, it's a park across from 7-Eleven. A little bit of movie trickery. Made it look like the front lawn. It's right there. Aw, best scene in the movie, best scene of the 80s? Maybe. And of course, gotta play the song. Right there. Not the best area. A lot of people sleeping on benches and just sleeping. Oh, in a bouncy castle. It's like a little birthday party. Yeah. Oh, God. No, I thought I stepped on horse dung, but it's just, well, maybe horse dung. Anyways, I'm going somewhere else cool. No time to waste. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm just in a random alleyway because I had to take a detour and there's somebody preaching really, really enthusiastically, sort of, about Jesus. All right, people are behind me and they're getting angry. Why? Sorry, jeez. Drive by. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on? Yeah, that's the Wonder Years house right there. And there's the curb where they sat. Oh. And then Paul waved at the camera. A few other houses on the street from the same show, and I'm going to show you. And that's where Kevin would walk down. You see the mountains in the background. Best show ever. And there is Winnie's house from the same show. I believe that was Paul's house later on, but that's definitely Winnie's house. And there are the mountains in the background. By Wonder Years house right there. Beautiful street. And this is also from Say Anything. This is where they're sitting outside after he broke up with Diane and uh, he says, if you guys are so smart about women, why are you here on Saturday night all alone? Then they all say, oh, by choice, by choice, man. Yeah, film right here. All right, gotta go. This place is pretty cool, this drive through uh, It's like a drive through dairy and bread place. drive through you pick up whatever you want. And they make burritos and stuff. But yeah, look. See, let me zoom in. Let me pick up a loaf of bread at a drive through This is convenient. If you eat bread, which I don't. Uh-oh. Aww.